Do you suck at handstand push-ups? You sort of suck less. All right, handstand push-ups. You may struggle with your handstand push-ups not necessarily due to your pressing strength, but due to your core stability. You need good core stability for productive force application. I know it sounds a little technical, but what that means, unless your core is strong, stacked, and stable, you end up getting that bowing, arching out away from the wall handstand push-up that's pretty ugly, okay? What we need is to start with the headstand. The headstand is the foundational movement for a handstand push-up. And it's really important for three reasons. First one is it gets you in the proper setup position between your head and your hands in that proper tripod position we're looking for. It also helps with the correct weight distribution. And the third thing is that core stability we're after, but also the balance and coordination for the movement. Before starting this headstand progression, first practice bailing and failing safely by doing a somersault. This is especially important in the later progressions. That way we don't fall flat on our back and knock the wind out of ourselves. But for the headstand progression, first one is five points of contact with the feet and the hands and the head in that tripod position that we're after. Second progression is bringing the knees to the elbows. Third progression is getting those knees off the elbows, getting into a stacked neutral spine position. And number four, finally, is that proper headstand position with those legs straight out. Once you've mastered that headstand position, then we can practice the handstand push-up.